Hey friends, it is messy hat and glasses J. Morrell on this Monday morning. It's actually Saturday when I'm filming this vlog. We have had a quite an adventurous last couple of days. Thursday evening, Liam, when he was, let's see, I said Thursday evening, actually it was Wednesday evening. Yes, Wednesday. I don't want to be a liar. <laughs> Wednesday evening, Liam was having trouble getting to sleep. My neck had actually been hurting me quite a lot on Wednesday. So my plan Wednesday evening was to be laying down in my bed by about 7 or 7 30 so I could just really rest my body rest my neck and wake up fresh on Thursday that worked out well by 7 30 I was laying in bed several of the other children were laying in bed too and about 9 30 or so I sent everyone up to bed we had watched chopped and some cooking shows and it was time for them to go to sleep so Liam after that was having trouble getting to sleep in his own bed and I could hear him fussing upstairs and he couldn't find his toy he had left his favorite toy outside in the yard and it was just a very hard time so I crawled up in Liam's top bunk of his bunk bed with him to just help get him settled we don't have to do that often but I just thought that was the quickest way that I could still get my rest and lay down flat was to just get in bed with him and snuggle well I woke up about 11 30 and when I woke up at 11 30 I, I shot up quick in his bed and I swung my legs around to get down his bunk bed ladder and I was still groggy though and I believe I thought that I was almost on the floor I put my right foot down and with all of my weight I came down hard on my right foot and it burned like fire and I thought oh my I have broken my foot I, I had no idea I could still walk on it but it hurt and my neck was hurting I felt like a basket case so I managed to get myself down to my bed I had someone get me an ice pack and bring me some ibuprofen and I thought no matter what as long as I can still get some sleep I'm going for it I'm getting my sleep so I woke up Thursday morning and when I woke up my foot did not hurt when I started to walk around the house on it though I could tell something was up there was some swelling I didn't think it was broken I thought it was probably just a sprain but I sat around for the first half of Thursday with ice on my foot with my foot elevated and really was just praying and and thinking through if I wanted to go in and get an x-ray or not. I shared this picture on Instagram of me icing my foot and the children, you know, I put them to work. They were doing household chores. They got a lot of their school work done. My three oldest got all of their school done and we were just taking it easy. By the time my husband got home from class though, I had heard from some other moms again on Instagram and on other social media who said, you know, there were times that they've hurt either their wrist or their foot and they didn't go in for an x-ray and then come to find out they had actually they had a fracture and I thought you know I don't want to be dealing with a broken bone with a fracture of some sort and deal with this for several weeks not knowing what I'm dealing with so we don't run to the doctor a lot but for my foot I did go Thursday night and get an x-ray and praise God it was not broken it was just a sprain the doctor told me it would probably be sore for three or four days so within all this then several kids in the family and my husband start dealing a little bit with some fevers and a stomach bug thing and so Friday we all we just stayed in pajamas all day and binge watched several things on Netflix and we just chilled out that was yesterday so today here I am needing a shower crazy hat it's cold it's rainy and we still have gotten outside today and my foot is a lot better I've been walking on it and you know if someone steps on my foot it hurts but I think I'm just about over it so that is awesome I thought I would be down for several days with this foot thing and my neck isn't bothering me at all so all of that to say Gabriel and I are now heading to town just to hit a Walmart because that's closest to us for now to get things that we need to add in for dinner meals for this coming week. We were able to get a very large wonderful sharp shopper haul in this past week actually the night that 
I went for my x-ray since we were close to a sharp shopper. You know, we live almost an hour away from one now. So since we were close to a sharp shopper, I had Zion go in and I got one of the little um, motorized buggy carps, carts and I sat in it and I had Zion fill the cart. So we got a lot of really good, wonderful deals at sharp shopper. Of course, those bagels and yogurts and we got raisins and canned peaches and just some wonderful things. And I didn't film a haul because of my foot and then the sickness that started to run through but Gabriel and I are going to take you with us to Walmart and do a haul and I also have some other YouTube thoughts and announcements that I'm going to share at the end so thanks for hanging out with us and all our adventures so Gabriel and I are going to actually go into a Dollar Tree we have never been into this particular location before and there's also a Kato and I know I need a few new mama shirts for this spring because nothing fits so I'm going to get I'm going to peek in there and I don't know if they're going to have anything or not but try to get one or two new shirts for Mama. Hey, Gaby, what are you doing, man? I was trying to stay, stay behind the line so if a car came over, I was waiting here for you to get over here. That'd be good. I like your minion hat. We can get a few more uses. We've had wonderful, like, summer weather, and now it's cold again. Cold and rainy. I'm picking out some new little treats for Amelia to work with during our school time. I try to have a few special things on hand for her and she's pretty much worked through all of her little books. They do at the Dollar Tree, they have these My First 100 Words book or animal books and these are neat because they have lots of stickers with them. So here's what the outside looks like and then on the inside there's little activities on the pages. You got some stuff, yeah, Gabriel? Yeah, these stuff on where I, okay. I can pick five. Five things. Five things at the Dollar Tree. And then look at all these stickers on the inside. So these are really helpful. Okay, Four mommy. things. So Four. One more thing. One more thing. And Gabby, we should also pick out a treat for Amelia and Liam and Naomi. Okay. I'm going to get Liam this ninja thing. Um, and then for Amelia, maybe get her this little... Oh, and Liam would like, would like a bike. Would he rather have the motorcycle or the little ninja thing, you think? Or here's a little bag of dinosaurs. We want like... Or bucks. Gabriel and I are already out of Walmart, and we've already started loading the van, and I forgot to give you guys a peek at our cart. So this cart, it's about halfway unloaded. You'll see a high priority this week was I also got some ferns for the new front porch and some petunias, because the petunia baskets at Walmart were only $4. So of course I got several. So here's a quick peek. And all the bananas are loaded, all the bread's already loaded, but petunias and ferns, yay! Hey friends, so Gabriel and I are back from our rainy Saturday evening Walmart grocery haul and I gotta show you someone especially cute. You probably hear him over here. Several of you have asked for updated videos of baby Daniel. Oh, and he's here saying stuff. Are you eating your banana? Say hi, friends. <laughs> See, I am eating my banana. Yes, yes, you are. Is this so good? You big boy. Yes. Say yes. <laughs> you gonna say mama? Hey. Mommy? Say mommy? <coughs> mommy. Mommy. Oh, drink your drink. Ooh. So he is a messy banana boy. I think this is his fourth banana since I got home. And I was getting ready to film and he started saying, Mommy, Mommy, Nana, Nana. So he's gonna be our little background noise. Oh, Daniel, Daniel. So let me go over this haul. Now this haul came in right about a $200 haul. Mommy, Mommy, Mommy. <laughs> came in about a $200 grocery haul earlier this week when we went to get the x-ray of my foot to make sure the silly thing wasn't broken I did go into sharp shopper with Zion like how I mentioned we spent about $257 on that haul but if you've seen my sharp shopper videos you know that is a lot of stuff I loaded up on so many things so this is a smaller Walmart haul this Walmart haul is basically for dinners for the next week also some more fruits and vegetables and for some household items that we need and at the end of this haul I'll share my meal plan for this week too so real quick earlier this week we broke our pepper shaker so I got this pioneer woman salt and pepper shaker I love her designs that are in Walmart right now and this was under five dollars and I hope I get a lot of use out of them and don't break them also Gabriel picked out two packs of sunflower seeds because we're gonna get those growing also got my shampoo 
my big thing of conditioner. Now these, this Suave brand, I like to use this for bubble bath for the kids' baths. So I got some for bubble bath and then also some conditioner because we've got lots of curly hair. I've still bought laundry detergent. I have not made home I have not made homemade laundry detergent, but I'll pop a card up here for you now if you want the recipe on how to make homemade laundry deter detergent. I haven't made it in several months. I'm still buying it. Gotta get back on that bandwagon too. Lots of bananas and of course baby Daniel's woofing those down. We've got some celery, some green peppers cauliflower, mushrooms, carrots, five avocados, and five sweet potatoes. Now, no one else in our family eats sweet potatoes besides myself. What I've done, what I've been doing recently for my Trim Healthy Mama, yeah, 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 lunches is I've been doing an avocado and a can of tuna on it. Now, I also wanted to start mixing in some sweet potatoes again for an option, a quick mom option for myself. These were marked down to 88 cents and the bag of sweet potatoes at Walmart, I think it was like $4 and you only got three sweet potatoes. So of course this was a better deal getting these at 88 cents a piece and they're all, they're, they were wrapped, it was easy. Okay, so I think I'll swoop down here. Two more things of oatmeal, another five dozen eggs. The, the poor guy at checkout said, wow, that's a lot of eggs. And I thought, ha ha, you have no idea. This is just my supplement. <laughs> um, and let's see, I got seven loaves of bread. And so I got these four packs of tuna. These were $3.57 a pack. So it made the cans of tuna less than a dollar a can. And that was the cheapest option there. The other cans were 94 cents a piece. For meat, uh, with what I'm making this week, I needed some hamburger. I wanted three packs, about 15 pounds, 12 to 15 pounds total of hamburger. They only had two packs left in the store. So I bought that and then I bought two 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 pound packs of sausage so i'm going to mix the sausage in with the hamburger and for my different recipes it'll just be a way to stretch the meat and it'll make it good i got a huge three pound pack of bacon we have not done bacon in a while because it's just so much for me to cook so everyone can have even a little bit so again, this is three pounds, and I've heard from some moms with large, larger families that they cook their bacon in the oven. And I thought with this pack that I would get it and try to bake it in the oven. So if you've done large amounts of bacon in the oven, let me know how that works for you, okay? That would be great. Um, the chips were absolutely not on the list, not on the meal plan, but when I saw them, I could picture us having a snack of some chips and salsa. Then I got, because I have cornbread on one of my meal plans, I got some more cornmeal, some more country crock, more of these yogurts. Now, for my viewers that are doing Trim Healthy Mama, these yogurts are on plan. And if I have these, oh, Daniel, 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 I gotta talk about yogurt, man. I gotta talk about yogurt. If I have these in the fridge, they make a quick snack alternative for me. Now, lots of cans here. What's going on? I've got, let's see, we've got six cans of pizza sauce, and then the rest of these are beans. When I do chili, I like to get the large cans of beans, and they had no bigger, no larger than these 15 ounce cans. So I got great northern beans, we've got dark kidney beans, navy beans, pinto beans, more kidney beans, I like black beans. I like to just put in all kinds of different beans into my chili, light red kidney beans. Yep, so I got doubles of each. I also have some corn, a big thing of green beans. I got some sesame seed oil. I did not like their already sliced price on pepperoni. So this nice pepperoni stick which is about 16 ounces. It was like, I think 637. So it was cheaper to just buy this and slice our own. Another thing of Parmesan. Now I mentioned we've had a bugaboo going on. My husband hasn't been eating much. He's not feeling well at all. He wanted some Sunny Delight and some Powerade. They had Powerade for 80 cents. So that's what I got him. So our meal plan for this week is, so when I'm filming this, it's Saturday. So tomorrow after church, we're gonna go out to the super cheap Chinese buffet after church. You can get Mongolian barbecue there and it's, I 
I want to say it's like $3.99 a person for the buffet and then a lot of the kids are free or half price. It just it ends up being for all nine of us to eat lunch it's about $36. So that's a great deal and a sanity saver for me for some Sunday afternoon. So we're doing that tomorrow afternoon. Monday we're going to do pizza bagels. I've shared those in some videos, and since we have a freezer full of bagels now from Sharp Shopper, it's as simple as slicing the bagels in half, putting on some pizza sauce, some shredded cheese, and some pepperoni, and put it in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, and voila, we have pizza bagels. Everyone loves them. Then, Tuesday and Wednesday. On Tuesday, I'm doing a mammoth load of spaghetti. I'm gonna eat it on spaghetti squash or zero noodles. The family is gonna have it over some different shaped noodles that I got in bulk. We're having that. I'm gonna make it Tuesday and we'll have leftovers Wednesday. And that's what I do a lot of times, a couple meals a week, one or two at least. I make enough for us to just do leftovers the following night. And that saves me a night of cooking as well. Then on Thursday, we're gonna do Trim Healthy Mama inspired egg roll in a bowl. You can find that recipe online, but I'm gonna do a cooking vlog and I'm gonna show it to you guys. That'll probably be up next week. Friday night, we're gonna do breakfast for dinner. It'll be as simple as bunch of fried eggs and a bunch of French toast and I can spin that for Trim Healthy Mama and do the Trim Healthy Mama French toast on Ezekiel bread. Then next Saturday I'm cooking up a huge stock pot full of chili and I'm doing cornbread in the bread machines and that will be our lunches and dinner next weekend because you know I love doing those big weekend meals. Now if you want to get recipes for anything that I mentioned, if you want a more detailed price breakdown of our lark, eat, eat, you need another banana. Yeah, boy needs another banana. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you want a detailed price breakdown of everything, of the items I got today, and if you would like to see my large family grocery budget, there is a link for a post below that has all of that. Also, real quick, I wanna show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. Let me give that boy banana real quick. Okay. That boy, that baby now has a banana. You happy with your banana? Okay, he's looking at me, he's happy now. Real quick, I wanna show you also what I got at the Dollar Tree, okay? So, I got, real quick, we got two little things of Vaseline for the kids' bathrooms, a backup thing of kid toothpaste, some petroleum jelly lotion for dry skin issues. We got some Big Bird baby shampoo and some Elmo baby shampoo. And then for Amelia to refill her in our homeschool time, I got her the My First 100 Words sticker book. And this is the same one I showed from the store. It's got stickers in it, different matching pages. We got the same one on animals. She's got, look at that, hot dog, a new three pack of frozen crayons. Then I got her an animal rescue coloring book and an Olivia coloring book. Now with these new books and crayons and goodies for her, I will not give them all to her at one time. Each book will be its own big deal. Like right now, every day she's asking for her Pooh Bear school. And remember she's three. She finished that Pooh Bear book up. So this week I will give her one new pack of Elsa crayons and I will give her one of these books It'll be a big thrill and she can work through those. And whenever she scribbles through most of the books, she likes to say she's gonna do her A at Amelia school. So whenever we have A at Amelia, that entire book, I just, I write Amelia and hold her hand and write Amelia. And we work on her letter A's and we work on some of her vowel sounds and her different phonic sounds, all very easy peasy, natural schooling. So. As she finishes those books, I'll, one of those books, I'll whip a new one out. This is my real quick haul. And another thing, I am full of information today. I hope you're still with me. I Now that the dust is settling from the move and my foot, praise God, is not broken, I'm gonna give an attempt. Now laugh with me, pray for me, cross your fingers with me, whatever. I'm gonna give an attempt to getting back to Monday through Friday daily videos. We'll see if I can do it. I have a plan in my head that seems pretty simple in my head. What it would be is that on Mondays, I would give you my grocery haul and my meal plan for the week. Then on Tuesdays, we would have a country porch chat on different questions I receive in my Facebook messages or on Instagram or if you guys email me or in the comments. 
different things you all want me to sit down and we'll chat about that will be on Tuesday then on Wednesdays it would be a cooking vlog me making something then on Thursday it would be a family day in the life and or a homeschool day in the life and then Friday would just kind of be a catch-all if I've gotten requests for certain things or let's say the kids and I went on a hike or we hit a flea market or if there's just little snippets and clips that's what we would have on Fridays because I've been actually playing around on YouTube now for about two years which seems ridiculous I started doing it fairly consistently last year but the year before is when I actually started putting videos up so now I'm fairly confident in my, my editing software and whipping out my little GoPro and you know handling the kids and video in and keeping my camera in my pocket and it's just becoming more of a way of life for me and also I really feel that God's grace is on me to do videos during this time so I'm gonna give it a try so this video is going up Monday tomorrow after church I'm gonna film a little country porch chat Monday or Tuesday I'll probably film a cooking vlog for Wednesday we're just we're just gonna see if we can get this going now Murphy's Law for Jay Morrell doing anything is a video is gonna get stuck uploading or the computer's not gonna start for a day or I'm gonna fall out of a bunk bed again and try to break my foot or hey one of my fa one of my super tricks I did recently was I got eight foot of eight feet of spaghetti noodles stuck in our pipes under the house all kinds of antics it seems so thank you guys for playing along thank you for watching find me on the encouraging homeschool mom Facebook please find me on Instagram and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another brand new video bye bye